What's up everybody? It's your boy here, the Mozambican guy. My name is Alcidi Soares and today, today, I'm here to share with you uh, the part two of color correcting to say your image or how to say your image by color correcting. So uh, I already showed you how to edit this picture and the other picture that I showed you was this one. Um, so I showed you this is, was before color correcting and the people who I did actually this picture for, they would be very happy even if I deliver this picture like this, like this, the way it is. But by color correcting, you're giving that vibe a different feeling for the picture. You, you're adding happiness, you're adding a, a sentimental to it, that something that people can connect to it. As I said before, your clients, they don't know anything about color correcting or anything about retouching, but you working this extra mile, it just put you in a very different level from uh, um, other photographers out there. And people would prefer working with you better because they know your picture look good than anybody else, right? Because you pushing a little bit um, uh, the package. So here we are in Photoshop. I already um, showed you guys how my, I, I, I import my, oh, the plane. The plane is passing. Sometime working in an environment where it's not, I don't know if you can hear the wind, it's very windy outside and I'm here, there are no doors, but let's forget about that. Let's continue the video because it's getting dark. I don't wanna mess with this tutorial today. So as I was saying, we are here in Photoshop. I already show you my workflow, how I do to import the pictures from Lightroom to Photoshop. I, I already did some tweakings of color correcting in Lightroom and I imported here in Photoshop. Of course, I have done as well the frequency separation uh, process. You can see from this folder um, right here or this group. I name everything, all the groups and almost most of the layers. I like to name them as I said before. It makes easier for other retouchers when they find your work, they can you know know how, when to um, to continue from but it just make your work quite neat and organized. It's better. These, I already did some frequency separation. You can see from, um, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the difference from the, you know, from their faces. Look, I didn't want to over exaggerate because they are very mature couple. You don't want to make them look like Dali or make them look younger because they want to be appreciated from who they are. So you should appreciate that, bring their beauty from whom they are. So know how to work with you know, that kind of diverse type of clients. When they're younger, you'll do something more, you know. Young people, they like to look younger and you know, they're quite mature. They don't wanna look younger, but they, wanna, they don't wanna look old as well, but they just want, they just want to look themselves. I did some frequency separation and the color correction that you're seeing right now it's from straight away from Lightroom. If you guys can agree with me, you know, comment below if you would, you know, give this picture for a client right away. Um, but I would, I know that a lot of people, some of you guys would be like, hey, why would you like color correct this picture per se? There's nothing to do there. Of course, there's nothing to do. Because I mean, I already did like a lot of the work, right, on, in Lightroom. That's one of the things that you do so like, great work in Lightroom, you won't suffer in, on, in Photoshop. But if I really want to sell this picture, not just for them, but for my future clients and for my young people audience, I can go extra mile with this. I can, go some, I can do something really nice, something really, uh, you know, this picture is simple, but you can do some artistic color correction. What mostly I do, I start with, you know, photo filter. I like the photo filter thinking. You, if you over exaggerate, you can, you know, this is how it looks. But here, probably you won't see the difference, but when you're used to it, you're ready, you, you can start seeing the difference between, you know, without and with, without and with. I like actually the way it is. Without and with. I don't know if you can see the result, but I can. It's really subtle. And I go with selected color. I start with the red channel, of course. Uh, here on, on, on the yellow channel, if I go to the left, uh, there is blue. In my right, there is yellow, right? You're supposed to know how this works, like the, the, the reverse of yellow, it's blue, the reverse of magenta, uh, it's, it's, um, 
it's green, the regress of Scion, it's red. So I just put a little bit of yellow on the reds because of their skin. 1% um, it's fine. I don't know, magenta, okay. Because it's like a low key, um, uh, a low key photo shoot. Um, I will explain in other video what's the difference between low key and high key photo shoot. It's more like low key than high key. I will need a bit dark and a little bit the, 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 the reds. And I will probably put a little bit of blue on the neutral, which is mid tones, right? And on the shadow, I will go 1% of the shadow and I'll put a little bit of yellow on the shadow. I will say 1%, right? Let's, let us look before and after, before and after. I like more this way. And I already did two or three steps. I, I go with my uh, color balance as well, one of the adjustment layers. And I'll put a little bit yellow. As you know, as you already know, I like my pictures a little bit warm. Um, there is like a certain vibe into it. Uh, this is what I did here, just like a negative um, to blue. And I put a little bit of um, as well, uh, magenta, a little bit of cyan. Everything is negative, those numbers here, right? So just to get, it's like those few steps that you do, like just a touch of everything. Let me group this by pressing Command J on Mac and Command, no, Command G on Mac and Control G on PC and name this color. Um, well, just because it's, it's much safer naming it. Uh, well, let's see the color correction. Wow, right? It's, okay, you would say, oh, ow, but it's it just look different. It, it is looking different. It's it just, you're looking for like a different variety of looks. So when I'm editing pictures, especially when I'm color correcting, I'm just looking for different looks. Because if I do really well, uh, really good, uh, a good job on Lightroom here, I'm just doing some tweaks. And what I can do here, I will go to, let's start with the gradient map. Um, um, gradient map on the second one. So on the gradient map, you come, you see, when you select here, when you select here, you find this. If you find, you find it, go to the preset. It's like a uh, photo, photographic preset, this one. Photographic toning. So you can load photographic toning. I mostly like to use all this all this, all this, but today we use this one because I like the way it's looking. Just press OK and close this. And it doesn't look good at all. What you can do, oh shoot. My camera just switched off automatically. I don't have, I don't have nobody with me on the studio to help me out with, um, with the camera, so I'm recording myself. So as I was saying, um, with the color uh, ready map, it looked like this. It, of course, it doesn't look pretty, right? It looks, it doesn't look beautiful at all. But hey, hold on a second. There are a few things that we can do. I can show you like two process. The first process, you can play with the blend if mode, which is by double click on the layer. Uh, you go here. Uh, what I wanna do, I wanna take out, you know, all the, the this color from the black apart and, and put them on the white side. Um, so, I like the way it is, but if you press Alt on, 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 the, on your keyboard and you can separate those two because there are two, you can separate one of them. You can push and push and push and push and push and push. I mean, until in the way you will feel like, you know, it's nice for you, just use your eyes to judge what you like. There is no like the right way of doing this. And after this will be like, hey, of course, it looks very different, but you can you can play a little bit of the opacity, right? You can go, you can go a little bit there with the opacity, or what you can do is just choosing a blending mode, right? You can most of the time I use soft light, um, but then soft light just make that highlight to pop. You can use screen, you can use anything you want, anything you feel that you know using soft lights, of course, you will use the same process as well to diminish a diminish little bit, you know, um, the, 
um, the, the opacity of, of the layer. Um, let's see how that looks. I mean, it looks, it's not, it looks fine. Um, now my, I push a little bit my opacity to 38%. There is like a slight difference in combination of everything. If you do like before and after, before and after, you can see what, what actually those colors are doing. This is like no color from straight from Lightroom. This is color. The other thing that I just learned is that I can go here. This is like a gray, um, this is a gray zone. You know, when you press this thing here, you click there, it's just doing that. So from here, it looks, it, it really, it's, it's looking good. I can go back and I put like in a normal mode where I can see really well what's going on. Um, I like that, but we can do, another thing is we can go to solid color. Solid color, I, I, wanna, I wanna choose like a color that it's a well, little bit, you know, change the vibe of, of, the, of the thing, of the picture itself, but bring just a, a, a complementary color into it. If I do this, you can see, um, let's see what, what I came up with here. So I'm taking, just by pressing Alt and drag this, you can see what is happening right there. Um, I mean, yeah, if you diminish a little bit uh, opacity, I mean, it's, look, it's looking a little bit weird. Definitely, it's looking weird. I just t I took out um, the the blending mode, and I'm trying my best to work. The other thing that you can do, you can push your opacity to 100%, and you know put blending mode like this, and you can select um, the mask, and you you take your black brush, right. Let me just change the brush here. It's uh, opacity 75 and flow 4. And if I brush, just take out all the blue from them, right? Because I'm trying to look at the complementary color. Um, let's, let me just increase the opacity just to make this as quick as possible. Because I don't want this tutorial to get really long and it's already creating a fatigue because I've been, okay. It's starting to look really nice. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how it is. Let's try to change the soft light. Okay, it's coming nicely. Let's do this before and after, before and after. I don't know, but it, it, it feels like it's making them to pop, right? You look at them more. Sometimes what I do is duplicating. I try, like I did, for example, this with one color. I duplicate the layer, the, the solid color. I change the color just to see how, what kind of other result I can come up with. Having the previous process, you can already like replicate and see what kind of, you know, uh, looks you like better. This look interesting. The combination doesn't look interesting. But if we do this before and after, okay, if 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 I do this, in end of the day, it's just the way you, you, you feel like you can, you know, you like more your, your pictures. So this would be this would be it man. Um, I like this picture like this. The things that probably is missing it's probably me um, doing some highlights so that the picture can pop more I would I can call this like uh, highlight I don't know if I spilled it okay so that's highlight over the color figure separation this uh oh so my gosh the second uh, light is off 
But let me finish here with the video. This is before and this is after. This is before, this is after, that's before and that's after. So if you look, let's as like putting one process at a time. This was the process from the beginning. Uh, this is a picture straight from Lightroom. I already did a color correction on, in Lightroom. I put it here. The picture looked fine. Now you won't, you won't see us looking fine because you already see you know, the correction that I did on their skin. This is a, with a frequent separation. You already would say, you know, this picture looked great because they are, you know, this couple would love their picture, but we did some color correction and then boom, and then some more, you know, highlights. And then we have that result. If I press here, this is our before and this is our after, you would definitely would agree with me that you like this way better. Of course, I had to switch off to this camera so that you can see that working um, in an environment like myself, not having enough batteries, because I cannot switch off that light is off. This light as well is off. The battery before that was in this one, it, it, it died. I don't have any any other battery. I have to charge all that. I only have three batteries for two lights. What I would say is that, you know, you have to push yourself a little bit to the, to the limits and in terms of being creative so that you can you can discover some somebody else. Like, you can discover more yourself, your style. Myself, I'm still discovering my style and delivering really a, a, a product that it's really nice, real well done. And th there is like a, a, a thought process behind it. You push a little bit yourself, you put your heart into it. People will definitely identify themselves with the images and stuff. And they will be very grateful because you're doing really amazing work for them and they will pay you for that. Happy, they will, you know, they recommend you for, you know, to their families or to their friends and then all that stuff. Let me know what kind of other tutorial they would love to see coming from me. Thank you so much for tuning in on this channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Kanimambo. Muito obrigado. And see you on the next one. Stay tuned.